Natasha Antonioni with Austin Life. Today, we are taking you on a Christmas table decor setting at my Casa Westward home, and you can check out that video as Casa Westward new build. Come on in. Okay, so listen, this has been the hardest year with COVID. We all know it. No one has escaped. So we wanna keep this as simple as possible. And I know our family gatherings this year might be smaller than usual. I believe my family, it may just be us this year because our elders, we need to keep them safe. So I went to our local supermarket here in Austin, Texas called HEB. If you don't live here, you don't know what that means, but HEB is like Costco meets Whole Foods meets your supermarket. So everything you need is there. I always like to take the holidays in transition. So I used my pumpkins from my Halloween decor video, which you can check out as well. And I incorporated them and I thought about that beforehand. So when I was at HEB, I saw these green pumpkins and I knew that they would work well with Christmas. So I incorporated them into the decor. So I'm gonna stick with the green and then I'm gonna get some pomegranate. So I'm gonna give it a pop of red with these guys. So what I like to think about is um, things that are gonna last, right? Because it's only the beginning of December right now. So I'm gonna go for eucalyptus. So at HEB, I got two sets of eucalyptus and I love using flowers because they fill in the gaps and I'm all about filling in the gaps. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to lay your plants down as your placemat. Don't worry about the gaps because that is what the fruit and accessories are for. So we like them to look earthy, but not too beat up. So try and find some nice red ones, but if they're imperfect, that's part of the beauty of using real fruit as your decor. So when we say it's bigger in Texas, we're also talking about our grocery stores. HEB is like amazing. Everything that you need from gifts for the kids to home decor to any food item that you can possibly think of, to organic, to whatever you can think of, they have it. And here we are at the interesting white wines. One of my favorites. Step two, I added in the green pumpkins. I placed them out and spaced them equally. And then we added in the pomegranates. I got these three trees that I got at a local shop. So use what you have. And then I placed the pomegranates between the green pumpkins. So remember I got those berries. So those berries are so helpful. I just cut them down and then I use them as little bits of filler and pop of color to bring the red and the green together. And then I had these little gold candle holders that I've had for years that I got at an antique store and some little CB2 votive candle holders. And remember when we were on that Halloween video, it's all about the different heights. That's what makes it look so special. And I love to repurpose as much as possible. So I've had these cones from Michaels for years. And last year we went gold and white with everything. So I spray painted them gold so that they fit into the decor. Again, they're excellent fillers. So at the last minute, I just added these into anything that looked kind of bare. I've had probably for eight years these. I use them once a year at Christmas and just the little gold detail. So that could be gold wire or these were metal. My favorite wine, Chateau Saint Michel. I always love to have this at holiday meals and beyond. And then just to marry it into the rest of the house. Like I knew that I was gonna have gold and white be most of my theme in the house and that that was gonna be my pop of color. So how do we marry the two? And again, it's just keeping it really simple. I had 
these white branches from Michael's from a few years ago. I added the eucalyptus here to marry it to the table. And again, the white pumpkins to marry to the green pumpkins. Last year was our first Christmas back in Austin after we uh, experienced the Napa fires and lost a home there. And so I had spent one Christmas sewing these stars with little gold twine on them and they all burned in the fires. So last year I spent probably a good three weeks sewing these little stars. I feel like I am so not about spending all your time doing these things. We are all so busy, myself included, but it is nice to have a little touch of homemade items in the house. Makes it extra special. So up next, we are headed to make a Christmas tree on the side of the road. It's like this crazy Austin tradition and 360 loop is where you'll see it the most. I drove by it yesterday and there were like 15 trees up and people all at the side of the road decorating them. Our intention is to put it up and take it down after the holidays. So don't worry, we're not leaving lots of waste for Mother Earth to clean up. So come on, let's go. Make sure to like and subscribe below because we have videos coming out every single Tuesday. We'll see you soon. We almost got in trouble. <laughs>